Hello guys, so this is going to be kind of a different episode than the others. I am working on animations where we're right on now, so don't worry about to that. Um, I want to tell you guys about a pet that I used to um, have. She was a bearded dragon. She was about this um, big. She, she, she could fit on my um, thumb when she was a baby. And I'm going to read you guys a note that I wrote to um, her. Because I believe that she she will be able to see it from up there. Um, and this note that I have of her kind of has s s some of the story of her. Here's the picture that I made of her. Maybe th that'll... M maybe that'll help of what she looks like. And I'm gonna read you guys this note now. So, get on ready, because this is gonna be kind of a sad video. To Cody, if you see this, my beloved lizard, thank you for all the joy and love you brought us. You were the best pet I had ever had, and I'm glad I could give you such a loving and peaceful life. I wish we could have saved you. I believe that your spirit is with me, and I hope someday I will reunite with you in heaven. I remember when I first brought you home. You were the cutest thing I had ever seen. You were small enough to wrap around my thumb. I want you to know, we did everything we could to stop the rot in your tail from spreading. Shots, medicine, even amputation, but it didn't work. If we had cut off any more of your tail, we would be cutting off your vent and that would also lead to death. I hope you understand why we had to put you down was so the rot didn't spread. I love and miss you, Cody. When we brought Cody home from Petco, she was a baby still, and Petco doesn't really raise or breed their animals right, so we think that's part of why she got the tail infection, bacteria, fungus kind of thing. Um. It was all fine when she was a baby, like the rot wasn't there, but as she got like older, all of a sudden this like yellow kind of like discoloration appeared on, on her tail. We um, we um, thought it was um, nothing, so, so we didn't really worry about it. But after a couple weeks, it kept on getting worse, so... We then went to the vet and we asked about it and he said it was like a sort of rot that will happen to most l lizards if they are not raised right. So we untried shots, medicine, but it, it wasn't working so we um tried amputating her tail and it, it was fine for, for a while but i guess they um they um, like didn't like get rid of all the um rot on where it was on her tail so it came back and we were kind of out of ideas, so we just waited to see what would happen, and eventually it started coming up her legs. So we um, had no other choice than to put her to sleep. We didn't want her to um, suffer, because if it got to her, like, head, she would have died a very painful, agonizing death. Um, and I, I really appreciate th th that, that you guys listened to, to my own story. Thank you.